What we're going to do in this video is get some practice graphing in polar coordinates. So I have three points here, and some of them are given in degrees, some of them are given in radians for the angle. And we're going to think about how to plot it on this, on this, on these axes, or I guess you could say this graph paper here. And if you don't have any graph paper in front of you, I encourage you to at least pause the video before I plot it, and at least point your finger on your screen to where you think I should plot it. All right, let's start with this first point: three, four hundred and five degrees. So 405 degrees is interesting because that's more than one full circle around, one revolution. 405 degrees is going to be equal to 360 degrees plus 45 degrees. So we're going to go all the way around. That's going to be 360. And then another 45, which would get us right to that little gray line right over there. And then it's, the radius is 3. So we're going to go 1, 2, 3. So that is our point, 3, 405 degrees. Now our next one is in radians. And this one's interesting because the radius is negative. So I like to start with the angle, as always. So 3 pi over 4 radians. So if this is pi over 2, this is pi radians. We're going to be exactly halfway in between on this gray line right over here. But if our radius was 2, we would go out 1, 2. But our radius isn't 2, it's negative 2. So we go backwards. We go 1, 2, right over there. All right, now 4, comma negative 4 pi over 3. So let's think about where that would be. So here we're in radians, and we have a negative angle. So we're going to go clockwise. Negative 4 pi over 3. So I always just like to think about that's 4 pi over 3 is equal to 3 pi over 3 plus pi over 3. So it equals pi plus pi over 3. And we're going to, and if we did put a negative here, we would, we would say that. And so let us now go negative pi. That would take us over here. And then we want to go another negative pi over 3. And my brain sometimes converts back and forth between radians and degrees. I remind myself, well, pi is 180 degrees. Pi over 3 is 60 degrees. So that would get us, if we go an another negative pi over 3, we would get right over here to 2 pi over 3. And another way to think about this, if you just took 2 pi, and, which is, you could use this as 0 radians or 2 pi radians, you subtracted. 4 pi over 3. Let me do that over here. So 2 pi minus 4 pi over 3. That's the same thing as 6 pi over 3 minus 4 pi over 3, which is equal to 2 pi over 3. And so that gets us to this angle right over here. And our radius is 1, 2, 3, 4. There we go. And then last but not least, we have both the negative angle and the negative radius. This should be fun. All right, let's do the angle first. So negative 100 degrees. If we view this as 360, 0 degrees, but it could also be viewed as 360 degrees if you made one full revolution, you're going to subtract 100 degrees from that. So if you subtract 100 degrees from that, that would be the same thing as 260 degrees. So we get to this angle right over here. And if it was positive 3, we would go 1, 1, 2, 3. But it's not. It's negative 3. And let me make sure I'm. I'm following this properly. So if I follow this line backwards, I get to that line right over there. And so I'm going to go backwards, one, two, three, and get to that point right over there. And we're done.